Um, you can be like, okay, great. That's what I do in open guard, right? Like, but it's all to illustrate principles, okay? Because guard passing is not gonna be one pass, okay? I will, in the second half of the class, show you a number of different passes. But my focus in the first 30 minutes is just base and posture, okay? A couple things, do you, you kind of, could you put together something that was on their side? There was something that they did, in all three things that I showed you, there's some common factor. Could you get what that was? Yeah, what do you mean? Their feet on your hips? Their feet are on my hips, or inside my legs, mm -hmm. or around my body, okay? He had two legs without any real obstruction controlling me, okay? So when I go to guard pass, one of the things that I really can't allow, and it really begins with just this simple idea, is I don't care what pass it is. I really don't, it really doesn't matter. There are lots of different passes, but there will be a point in the early stages of a pass in which I will remove the control of two feet on, on me, okay? If I allow him to have two feet of control on me, especially kind of like from my waist, right around my waist level, or around like the insides of my thighs, here he has control, right? Like here he's got a control, and here he's got a big control over my hips, okay? Guard passing is going to necessitate killing one leg minimally, okay? I'm gonna have to, I don't have to get past both legs, but it's always gonna start kind of one at a time. You're rarely gonna be able to do both at the same time, okay? But another thing I wanna think about too is like, if I come in like this, in a bent over posture, like his ability, like he can literally just start to lift me up. Yeah, he can pick me up pretty easily, okay? He's got strong legs there, right? So in general, there are gonna be some exceptions to this, but in general, one of the things I'm gonna do when I come forward, is I'm gonna split my stance a little bit. I don't wanna come square to him. That makes it very easy for him to do the things that he wants to do, generally speaking. I split my stance. My knees are gonna bend, just like I'm doing a squat. I'm gonna have my cow back posture. And now when he goes, like if he wants to grab me and lift me, that's a hard day for him. And as I feel him try to lift, I can squat to avoid that, okay? He's got hooks on the inside. You can grab something, yeah. It's not an easy thing. I have an up and down motion that I can use to stop him. I do not want to get on, like, on him with legs, two legs giving me that trouble. Does that make sense? If I come in, I let him have two legs on me and then I start putting chest over his chest, I'm dead, okay? Like there's just no way, like if he's any good, I'm dead. All right, give that a little bit of a try. Like, don't don't go chest over chest while there's two legs connected to you. One, two, three. 